Well, here's what I did for the first one. I turned it down round and then I made a taper in it. I had already set my spacers here to the end, uh, the top and the bottom. And then I took 80 grit sandpaper to make sure it was straight and sanded the whole thing down and then sanded it to 220. Now to duplicate this, I've gone ahead and put some painter's tape, approximately an eighth of an inch apart here, about every six to five inches. This uh, is not critical at all. Then I'll take my parting tool and turn these down to these diameters. And then I can take my roughing gouge and then my skew and turn it down to those dimensions. And that should make four legs exactly the same. So I need to refine these legs a little bit. I 
I've got them all tapered and sanded down. I came really close to an inch and three eighths, but I didn't quite make it. I've got a hole in this wood, an inch and three eighths. I just test fitted it on here, jammed it on here and knocked off the edges so it doesn't hit my knuckles. This is the height of the cross member. I need to come a little bit beyond that because there's gonna be a 10 degree cut in here. So what I'm doing right now is trying to refine this with my skew and I'm not real skilled at it. I certainly don't want to hit this, but I've already got it turned down to that. So I just need to come back here a little bit and cut this off. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna set the lathe at about 1500, back this off and try to take some nice light cuts. I want this end to be a little bit smaller because I'm going to put a wedge in these. But that's really close right there. I'm going to call this good. This is my mark where it needs to be at an angle there. I'm going to take one light pass just right back here. I don't want to take a chance on a catch. Three more. 